Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Joyce Whitman. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and my blog name is stampinscrapper.com. I'm glad you could join me tonight. I have the cutest project to share with you. This is one that I made oh years ago because we didn't even have the silver foil. I had used um to um Reynolds wrap on here to do this part. But look how cute this pencil is. And so what I did was I have my Hershey Kiss and inside here I have Rolos, but I could not find them. I could find the individual ones, but I could not find the ones the, that were in the pack. So we're going to be making this one and it has sweet tarts in it. So it's a little bit longer and skinnier, but it's the same basis. So you could use Rolos if you can find them or sweet tarts. But how cute are these? I made them for the Grand Randalls for the first day of school because they're going to be starting on Wednesday. And Blissy started preschool this morning. So I made these for them over the weekend and they loved them. They were pretending them they were pencils. It was cute. And they're like, oh, I made a mistake. I need to erase it. It was really cute. But I'm going to show you how to make this one. Like I said, this is really easy. It won't take a long time at all to make. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll just put that like right there so you can see it. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to start with is this is Daffodil Delight. It's at three by six and three fourths. And we're going to score this. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we're going to score this at each quarter inch, but I'll show you how we're going to do that. And then we have this is Blushing Bride at three and three fourths by three inches. And I have a three fourths inch circle punch. If you don't, now that is retired, but you could use easily one of the circles from the framelits. Um, and then this is silver foil, three eighths inch by three inches. So let's go ahead and let me set these off to the side because we're going to do our yellow paper first. Let me put these little pieces up here so I don't lose them. And get out my scoring tool. Okay. So let me get this over here so you can see it. Okay, so we're going to score at every quarter inch. And for me, it was hard here. So I started on this side, and then I'll just turn it around. But we're going to just do every quarter inch. So I'm kind of going backwards on this. But it won't matter, like I said. But for me, it was just harder when I got over here to do the quarter inches. So I just flipped it around and then kept going, and it was still... The quarter inch. So you're going to do it at quarter inch, half inch, three fourths inch, one inch, then one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three fourths, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three fourths, and then it's cut at three. And that is all the scoring that you're going to be doing. Now, this is different too because usually we see, I'll oh, see if I can, to, the indent is here, and this is usually what we want on the front, but not this time. We want this side where it has the mountains, I call these the valleys. We want the mountains up on the top. So, thank you. Um, thank you, Debbie. Hi, Mindy, thank you for joining me. So what we're gonna take is we're gonna take our tear and tape, and this is the size of sweet tarts that I use. There are, this is the 1.8 ounce, I don't know how many are in here, and then we have our Hershey Kiss. So those are the two that, products that we're gonna use on ours tonight. We're going to go ahead and use tear and tape. Now, you're going to use quite a bit of tear and tape on this project. This is the only kind of the adhesive I used on this. So you're going to do it on here on the valley side of this. And you want to go right to the edge. Now, when we go to put this on our sweet tarts, this will overlap a little bit, but you want that. You don't want it to butt up right next to each other. And of course, my little trick, I'm not sure if you know this, use an old credit card or gift card and you can smooth it out as you go and it rips a straight line, which you guys all know I love. So then what I did was, because I wanted to go around something, so I took my phone folder and I just kind of curled my paper a little bit. Now, to get the center, it's a little difficult, so I put my phone folder here and I just kind of pulled it like this to get it. The, in a, the center here, I could get my edges good, but that's how I did it for the center. And I just did that on both sides. And that just loosens the fiber so that it'll go around our pencil, our sweet tarts better. 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put all of our adhesive on first and then we will go ahead and um, assemble. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Um, I, if you get, once you get to know me, I am very, I don't like it when you rip it and it's all jagged and stuff. I have to have it straight and that's just my OCD coming out. So I just used one strip on the foil. And I just put it down the center and that will work on that. And then on the pink, what I did for the pink, I just did the two sides on here. Because it's going to be on the top, I didn't want the tape all the way across the top. And because this is little, it's kind of hard to rip it. And plus, I put lotion on my hands right before I came on. Usually, I try to do it a half hour before. I kind of forgot. And so my hands are a little slippery tonight. There we go. And then I did one. Whoops, come here. Now this one I just uh, cut because it's too little to do with the gift card. So I just cut two little ones to put on here and just put them next to each other. And then I also did the same thing for the bottom of the Hershey Kiss. I put two pieces of tear and tape on there. Okay. Whoops. So I'm back here. I'll put it on there. So on our pink piece and on our silver piece, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just use our bone folder a little bit to loosen up those fibers so they'll bend easier. Oh, let me put our project back out here. Hi, Gail. Oh, my goodness. Hi, girl. How are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a long time. Thank you for joining me. Um, and we're going to do the same thing on the pink. It just makes it a lot easier. And you don't have to do it. I'm not doing it real hard. I'm just doing it a couple times. So let's go ahead and put on, and you know, up oh, here there. I need my tweezers to get off my tear and tape. Now you could use your take your pick, or if you, your nails will do it. Mine do not do it very well. So I use tweezers to get it off. I don't know. Now when you do your, on your Hershey Kiss, you got to be careful when you're taking that off. So that you don't rip this because it's kind of thin. The foil is on here. And I just stuck it on the end. That's all I did to it. And it really stays there well because of the tear and tape. I tried to glue that. That didn't work. I tried snail. I tried um, the liquid glue. I tried a dimensional. The best thing to, that I have found out here, these two, is the tear and tape. Hi, Dee. Thank you for joining me. Yes, this does involve chocolate. Um, and I want to show you, because some of you just came in. This is one that I made a while ago, and it has the Rolo. I couldn't find the Rolo, so this time we're going to use the uh, Sweet Tarts. So what we're going to do first is we got to put our yellow on first. So we're going to take these off. Like I said, this is a pretty easy project. It doesn't take long to do. So what I do is I lay it on here, and I want the yellow to be a little bit over the Hershey Kiss. See how it's not, I don't want it right on the edge. I kind of want it to cover the bottom part of the Hershey Kiss. I kind of want to come, come up to about right here, maybe a quarter of an inch up on here to see so that it will lay nicely, and it kind of covers that up so it doesn't fall off too. So I just roll it up, and now I'm going to put this on here. Now, here's a little trick for you. Yes, the Hershey Kiss is a little bit bigger when you use the Sweetheart Tarts than when you use the Rolo. If you use the Rolo, it, they fit the same. But I didn't want a big bump where the Hershey Kiss is. So what I did was I just put it on the Hershey Kiss first, and then I just gradually put it on down here. And, uh, and why is this? There we go. Oh, that's right, because the pink is going to go over it. I'm like, wait a minute. It looked too short, but it's not. Okay, so let's go back up here again. Sorry. <laughs> and so I put it on, and I just gradually put it on gently because I don't want a bump here. I just kind of want it to gradually go down. So you can tell on here that it just fits smooth. It's not real tight. 
So don't make sure when you do that, you don't squeeze this real tight. And then I just rolled it like this and I just brought it up. Now, this is not going to be perfectly straight. This piece won't, it'll, it will be a little off here, as you can tell here. It's because this part's a little bit bigger than here. We're just gonna roll it. And then I'm gonna bring this up. Oops. And I'm not that particular if this is even, because this is going to also, again, be covered up with the um, pink. So we don't have to be so particular about that. Okay. There we go. This is a little off, but I already squeezed it down. Shoot. I don't know if I can lift this up because I pressed that down pretty hard. It's not going to. Okay. I should have done a better job lining that up. I did a better job on this one, lining that top up and then coming down. Okay. So then I put on my pink. And this is where you can hide where they're not even here. And again, I started, see where this overlays here? Actually, this is good for the camera to show you. See how I started here, but I ended up here? I'm going to start this at the same spot again, and I'm going up just a little. And you know what? No, I take that back. Let's do this, because I did this yesterday. I remembered when I wanted to tell you guys to do it different than what I did yesterday. You're going to put this piece on first. And you just stick it on here, because then it's easier to line up. That's right, I put that on first. Then you can see where you want, you wanna line it up with this piece right here. See if you can see. See where there's the, come on camera, focus. That's where it's right here. It started, I started it. So I'm gonna start the same spot and I'm gonna line it up with the top of my, where my um, circle is. Can you see how I did that? And then I just wrap it around like this. Go all the way around. Whoops. Okay, I want you to know I'm having a hot flash right now while I'm doing this. Woo! I think it's a doozy of one. Oh, well, that's not tight. Oh, that's not tight. Enough. Hold on. Undo. I'm going to pull that a little bit tighter. There we go. Okay, just a second. I got a quick take off my sweatshirt. Whoa, sorry. Hot flash. Okay. So then. We just press it down and then you have your top. And then you're going to take your foil and you're gonna do the same thing with your foil piece. So we're gonna take this and again, I'm gonna line it up for the same place I did before. And I do half and half. So it's half on the pink, half on the yellow. And you wrap it around. And there you go. And that is all there is to it. The yellow piece was cut on um, Gale at three by six and three fourths. The pink piece, again, is three and a quarter by three. This is three fourths inch circle. And the foil is three and three eighths by three. I will have all these measurements on my blog on Wednesday, along with some other pit, more pictures of it. But literally, that's all there is to it. How easy is that? And how cute is that? There is an easy project for teachers, for your kids, whatever you want to do. It is an easy peasy, lemon squeezy project. Um, I didn't think I would get done this fast. And this is the only thing I planned for tonight. <laughs> So we're going to have a short Facebook Live tonight. I thought it would take me a little bit longer than that to make it. Um, but anyway, so there is the pencils. You have two different sizes. This is the Rolos. These are the um, sweet tarts. You could also use sprees in here. Um, I'm trying to think what else is long. Mementos might work. I don't know because it's a little bumpy, so I'm not sure if the mementos will work or not. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for joining me. I apologize. It's such a fast post today. But um, I will be back next Monday with another project. 
thank you for joining me tonight, and you guys have a great evening. Bye-bye. And there you go.